using Kaneko on Braden here. I already have on the styles in as you can see. And I already have my hair brushed up using the gel and oil and water. So for each style that I'm going to do, you're going to need two packs of Kaneko on Braden here. The brand really doesn't matter. It's up to you. I just use whatever I can find. Um, you're also going to need a couple rubber bands and about 10 or 15 small clothes bobby pins. Like this size. So I'm going to take down this style to show you what I did. So for this style you're going to need two packs of um, braiding hair and you're just going to put the two packs together to make one large section of hair. So you're going to take the two packs and take them out of the rubber bands and then reconnect them into one big ponytail. After you do that, you're going to put the rubber band back on and attach it to your bun. Then you're going to simply twist the hair all the way down to the end. And then you're going to attach a rubber band to the end. So once you um, have your ponytail secured, it should be all the way twisted down like so. All you're going to do is take the hair, take the one big twist, and you're just going to wrap it around your hair. The very bottom where the ribbon is, all you're going to do is take it and attach it to where your bun is and spread the hair out so that it covers your hair. With the little end, you're just going to tuck that underneath the rest of the hair and then you're going to pin it. So you can make it bigger or smaller as you need to just by moving around a little bit. And then you're just going to pin it down when you feel like it's the look that you want. So basically you're going to pin the sections down to make sure that your hair is covered and then it looks the way that you want it to look. So for the back you're going to take this section and kind of like spread it out and fluff it around your actual hair so that your hair is covered by the braiding hair. So you're going to pin that down until it's tight enough and until your hair is covered. And that's basically it for the first style. So I'm going to take that down to do the next style. So for the next style, you're going to use two packs of braiding hair as well. And one pack you're going to twist and one pack you're going to braid. So these hairstyles only take a few minutes. If you're in a rush and you need something to do with your hair to go out, you can just throw it in a ponytail and put some braiding hair on. So I'm going to take this one out. And for the next style, you're going to leave your hair up the same way. And like I said, you're going to use two packs of hair. For one pack of hair, you're going to twist down all the way down to the ends. For the other pack, you're going to braid all the way down. So first, we'll start with the twisted hair that you're just going to simply attach to your bun. And you're going to basically do the same thing that we did for the first style. And you're just going to wrap it around your hair and tuck the tail over your bun. And then you're just going to pin it down and make sure that your hair is covered by the braiding hair.
So for the part that is out over here, you're just going to tuck that under the rest of the hair so that it's covered up. You don't want that part to show. So pin it down a little bit until you feel like it is secure for you. And that's the front of the style. So she looks like this. And then if you have hair left out from your hair, don't worry because we'll cover it next. For the next step, you're going to use the packet braiding hair that you braided down to the end. And you're going to apply that to the back of your hair. So you're going to just put it right where that ponytail is. And then all you're going to do next is pull it up to where the top of the braid is and you're going to put it over top of your bun just to make sure that it stays there and to make sure that your hair is covered. So once you have the braid on there, you're going to just pin it down to make sure that it's not going anywhere. So you'll just need a couple more bobby pins to pin the back of the braid down. And then once you pin the back down, that's basically it. Thank you for watching.